How do humans evolve? Have you ever noticed how things are evolved over time? It can't be easy to grasp this concept because we have only been alive for a short time. As a result, we don't have perspective as to how things are evolved. In this video, we will discuss the evolution of humanity. According to fossil evidence, the origin of man occurred in Central Asia, China, Java and in Shivalik Hills of India. Dryopithecus is one of the oldest fossils which evolved into apes and men. There are seven main stages for the evolution of humans and the sequence are Ramapithecus, Australopithecus, Homo habilis, Homo erectus, Neanderthal man, Cro-Magnon and modern man. Let's learn about the important features of each one of these. Ramapithecus. They lived on Earth about 15 million years ago. Their cranial capacity was about 480 to 500 cc. They walked like gorillas and chimpanzees by using both their hands and legs, that is, they had quadrupedal locomotion. Australopithecus. They lived on Earth about 2 million years ago. The cranial capacity of Australopithecus was 600 cc. They ate fruits and walked using their legs only, meaning they had bipedal locomotion. They were 1.5 meters tall. Homo habilis. The cranial capacity was 650 to 800 cc. They were the first human-like living beings and ate fruits. They were 1.2 to 1.5 meters tall. Homo erectus. They lived on Earth about 1.5 million years ago and their cranial capacity was 800 to 1300 cc. They had an erect body posture of 1.5 to 1.8 meters in height. They were omnivorous and used fire to cook their food. Neanderthal man. They lived on Earth about 1 lakh to 40,000 years ago and their cranial capacity was 1400 cc. They had a forward projecting face. They started wearing clothes to protect themselves against the harsh environment and were capable of hunting. Cro-Magnon The cranial capacity of Cro-Magnon man was 1600 to 1650 cc. They are called the recent ancestors of today's modern man. They were more cultured and lived with families in caves. They painted caves and had strong communication skills. They were 1.8 meters tall and were omnivorous. Modern man they lived on Earth about 10,000 to 75,000 years ago and the cranial capacity of modern man is 1450 cc. The modern man started the settlement of humans and did agriculture. This concludes our video on the evolution of humanity. Let's answer a few questions based on this topic. Question 1. The extinct human who lived 100,000 to 40,000 years ago in Europe, Asia and parts of Africa with short stature, heavy eyebrows, retreating for heads, large jaws and heavy teeth, stocky bodies, a lumbering gait and stoop posture was? Number 1. Ramapithecus Number 2. Homo habilis Number 3. Neanderthal human Number 4. Cro-Magnon humans This question was asked in AIPMT 2012. Solution: Neanderthal humans exist 100,000 to 40,000 years ago and had an upright body posture. Hence, option 3 is correct. Question 2. What was the most significant trend in the evolution of modern man, Homo sapiens, from his ancestors? Number 1. Increasing cranial capacity. Number 2. Upright posture. Number 3. Shortening of jaws. Or number 4. Binocular vision. This question was asked in AIPMT 2012. Solution: The most significant trend in the evolution of modern man from his ancestors is increasing in cranial capacity. Hence, option 1 is correct. Question 3. Which of the following is the direct ancestor of Homo sapiens? Number 1. Australopithecus Number 2. Cro-Magnon man Number 3. Homo erectus Or number 4. Ramapithecus This question was asked in Need 2015. Solution: The Cro-Magnon man is called the recent ancestors of today's modern man. Hence, option 2 is correct. This concludes our video on human evolution. Students must remember the names and dates of various evolutionary steps to answer questions in the exam. Please like, share and comment on the video and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more interesting and educational videos to earn while you learn.
Download Extra Class app from Google Play Store and get rewarded for stars.